good morning all today we are going to cover module 4 part 1 family business in this topic we are going to cover it in detail roles and importance of the family business stages of development of a family business characteristics of the family owned business in india various types of family businesses roles and importance of family business family business in every trade is around us from centuries from shoemakers to farmers Kongo Gumi in Osaka Japan was founded in 570 years over 75 percent of all registered companies in industrialized world are family businesses one third of fortune 500 are family business. 75% of companies in UK are family owned and 50 to 60% workforce in the industrialized world owned by family business. Family business are performing better than non-family business. Family owned businesses play a major role in the economy of the most countries in the world. Even in family businesses have played an will continue to play a central role in the growth and development of our nation. Next part of the role and importance of family business, largest family firms worldwide, they are Walmart, well famous, USA revenue around $245 billion, founded by Sam Watton family. Samsung Group, everybody knows in India, the product, whether it is TV or whether it is other product, electronics items, they are from South Korea, a revenue around $98.7 billion, founded by Lee family. IKEA Sweden, a revenue around $10.4 billion, founded by Comfort family. Tata Group, well known, everyone in India. This revenue around $7.9 billion. And Reliance Company. There are every, these are the few examples of the world family businesses globally. Contribution of family business in India. During the last 100 years or so, family business have made significant contribution in the following areas. The freedom movement, import, substitution and economic freedom from the colonies like Britishers and other things. God raised enterprise was started by Ardeshwar God in 1897 <coughs> with a vision to promote India's economic freedom. Spirit of entrepreneurship for engine of growth and taxes collections always regularly government is getting that is a security for nation. Philanthropy giving back to the society. What you are getting from the society, you have your right or you have you should give back to the society. That is known as philanthropy. Philanthropic effort in education, environment, health, culture, and heritage, conservation, these family businesses are having businesses. Contribution of family business in India. Trust lower transaction cost. It is well documented fact that trust lowers transaction cost, corruption, and bureaucracy. Of course, there is no doubt about that. If the family business is there, people are having more trust in that business rather than and it is having less corruption because the number of agent number of people on many levels there are very few who take the decision and bureaucracy also it is less small nimble and quick to react no doubt there are fewer decision making gates and constitution to deal with very often survival of the family depends on survival of business 
no doubt over this. This results sharp and decisive action in the face of threat that could be fatal for the business. Any product and project, if it is delayed because of the decision, definitely that may be a threat and it will be a loss of the business. But in family business, it is not the people we are very few who take the decision so definitely they are far better than the other type of business information as a source of advantage mostly family business is a private business it is an advantage because family business can see the strength and weakness of the public firm as a competitor and accordingly act accordingly while converse is not true they have private and confidential strategy to deal with the plan strategy hence can do the analysis and take appropriate appropriate and took decision to deal with crisis whereas in other type of business they may take longer time and that is the reason family business having advantage definition of the family business in general family owned business is one in which two or more extended family members influence the business through the exercise of the kinship ties, management roles, and ownership right, which is the owner intends to pass it to a family here, of course. Family business writers have contributed scores of definition in the family business literature, emphasizing different aspects of the family business particularly the form of level of family involvement or ownership control, the anticipation or occurrences of an intergenerational transfer of ownership or management control. There are various definitions of family mainly following two. One is structural definitions. There are definitions given by many people. Okay. Like Barry, he told, ownership controlled by members of a single family is nothing but family business. By Burns and Hudson, he has given family business is nothing but ownership controlled by single family or individuals. Becker and Tillman, a small or closely held business is nothing but family business. Rosen Ballard, D. Milk, Anderson and Johnson has told, majority ownership by a single family or direct involvement by at least two members in its operation that is the family business maybe a family business. according to stern ownership and operation by members of one and two families is the definition of family business lensburg peru and uh, rogalski legal control of the business by family members is known as uh, the definition of family business Another person, Lee, he has told that single family affected controls firm through the ownership of the greater than 50% of the voting share. A significant portion of the firm's senior management is done from the same family. Senior person who having control it should be from the family. Okay. Process definitions. The first one was a structural definition. Now it is Definition of the family business based on process definition. The definition is stress on how to family is involved in the business. Its influence on company policy is desired to perpetuate family control over the business and so on. According to Dunley, closely identify with the at least two generations of a family, Link has had a major influence on company policy and interest and objective of the family. According to Miller and Rice, members of one family own enough voting equity to control strategic policy and tactical implementation. According to Tegory and Davis, two or more family members influence the direction of the business through the exercise of management rules, kinship ties, and ownership right. According to P. Davis, family business is nothing but interaction between family and business organization that determines the nature and uniqueness of the business. According to Backhart and Dyer, business family and found founding subsystem with a focus on linkage among them. According to Dyer, Dyer, Dyer family influence over business decision. According to Churchill and Hunton, 
expectation or actually of the succession of by a family member according to war transfer of ownership across the at least two generations according to Hollander and Elman continuous relationship between family and business in that case I can say that Sairam group which is now run by our CEO okay that is second generation in that case the next generation it will be considered as family business if it is continuation because they are holding all the 51 all the top position everything from the same family so this is an example of family value thank you thank you very much we have to discuss little bit more on stages of development of family business in general any development circle always except three circle model any development okay whether it's a life cycle child young old same thing the business system also very first part start of the business expansion and formulation and maturity second it comes to family system young business family entering into family business means constructively family members in the business working together passing the baton then they have to have ownership system how to be made building the organization controlling owner sibling partnership cousin courtians characteristics of the family owned business it has clearly separate management and ownership have a clearly defined vision take time to understand the family concern and needs of individuals have a common language of trust inside and outside the family business means one direction one word one voice system we speak with one voice same thing leave their values and spouse them have defined roles and responsibilities for family members shareholders and employees have high staff loyalty and low staff turnover loyalty and staff Staff is less, whereas loyalty is there from the staff and turnover, low staff turnover. Consider appointing non-executive directors to help bring objectivity. It also considered the family business member who are not involved in the business. Various types of family businesses. Family-owned businesses, family-owned and management business, family-owned and led company. Family-owned business. A family-owned business for profit for purely purely by the family members only in which they are controlling members of the voting shares whereas family-owned and management business a family-owned and management business is for profit enterprise in which controlling member of the voting shares other form of the ownership typically but not necessarily the majority of the shares are owned by the fam members of a single extended family or owned by one family member but significantly influenced by other members of the family also. Third is family owned and led company. A family owned and led company is for profit enterprise in which a controlling number of voting shares, a part of the form of ownership typically but not necessarily the majority of the shares are owned by the members of a single entered family or are owned by the one family member but significantly influenced by other family members of the family also achieving them and the authority conferred by this controlling interest permit the family to determine the objective method for achieving them and policies for implementing such method and this business has the active participation by at, at least one family member in the board of directors of the company so that one or more family members have at least a high level of influence over the company direction, culture and strategy. That is why it is known as family business. That's all. Thank you very much. This is the end of family business chapter. Thank you.